Hey guys, it's Frosty here and welcome back to some more tips and tricks for Final Cut Pro X. Now I had a friend call me up the other day and ask me, why is my why are my clips so low res? Um, and they're basically, you know, they weren't even standard def. Uh, they weren't even standard def quality. And I said, oh, I think I know what that is. Have you been editing in proxies? And uh, they told me, yeah. And I basically walked them through what the issue was. Um, and this is what I'd noticed from uh, a few other people as well. Now working in proxies is a great thing with Final Cut Pro X. It just makes it so, so much simpler and easier um, and I love it. I pretty much edit in proxies all the time except for when I'm color grading. For those of you who don't know, Final Cut Pro X will down res the quality of the footage that you're editing with. So then you basically aren't using as much computer power and it really does help when you're doing multicam edits. So I really recommend it if your computer isn't really that powerful, but you still want to edit high def footage. So if you're looking to use the benefits of uh, proxy clips in Final Cut Pro X, this is how you do it. Um, normally when you import the footage, it'll give you an option and say, uh, would you like to create proxies of these files? But if you don't do it, then you can still just select the clips you would like. Proxy, right click, transcode media, and then, because I've already created proxies of these files, um, this option here will be available and it will say create proxy media and you click OK. And it will do it in the background while you're editing. Now, once that's done, you go up to Final Cut Pro, Preferences, and then use proxy media. What that'll do then, it is, it'll just quickly switch over without you really even realizing to the lower res images. But what you have to remember is that when you go to export, if you export when you've still got that setting set to proxy settings, um, it's going to export as proxy, which I seem to think is a bit silly. Uh, I don't know anyone that would really want to export proxy uh, footage, and if you did, you'd go through compressor and do it at a rate that you need, not just the custom rate the Final Cut Pro X is set. So just remember, if you are exporting and you have been using proxy clips, make sure you go back in, use original, and generally I like to set to high quality as well. And then I'll go to share and export media. Um, but yeah, there's just another little tip and trick and thing that something that a lot of people get stuck on.